This is a reading from the Old Testament book of Ezekiel, New International Version, beginning at chapter 21. The word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, set your face against Jerusalem and preach against the sanctuary. Prophesy against the land of Israel and say to her, This is what the Lord says, I am against you. I will draw my sword from its sheath and cut off, cut off from you both the righteous and the wicked. Because I am going to cut off the righteous and the wicked, my sword will be unsheathed against everyone from south to north. Then all people will know that I, the Lord, have drawn my sword from its sheath, it will not return again. Therefore groan, son of man, groan before them with broken heart and bitter grief. And when they ask you, Why are you groaning? you shall say, Because of the news that is coming. Every heart will melt with fear, and every hand go limp. Every spirit will become faint, and every leg will be wet with urine. It is coming. It will surely take place, declares the Sovereign Lord. The word of the Lord came to me, son of man, prophesy and say, this is what the Lord says, a sword, a sword, sharpened and polished, sharpened for the slaughter, polished to flash like lightning. Shall we rejoice in the scepter of my royal son? The sword despises every such stick. The sword is appointed to be polished, to be grasped with the hand, and it is sharpened and polished, made ready for the hand of the slayer. Cry out and wail, son of man, for it is against my people, it is against all the princes of Israel. They are thrown to the sword along with my people. Therefore, beat your breast. Testing will surely come. And what if even the scepter with the sword despises does not continue? declares the Sovereign Lord. So then, son of man, prophesy and strike your hands together. Let the sword strike twice, even three times. It is a sword for slaughter, a sword for great slaughter, closing in on them from every side, so that hearts may melt with fear and the fallen be many. I have stationed the sword for slaughter at all their gates. Look, it is forged to strike like lightning. It is grasped for slaughter. Slash to the right, your, you sword, then to the left, wherever your blade is turned. I too will strike my hands together, and my wrath will subside. I, the Lord, have spoken. The word of the Lord came to me, son of man. Mark out two roads for the sword of the king of Babylon to take, both starting from the same country. Make a signpost where the road branches off to the city. Mark out one road for the sword to come against Rabbah of the Ammonites, and another against Judah and fortify Jerusalem. For the king of Babylon will stop at the fork in the road, at the junction of the two roads, to seek an omen. He will cast lots with arrows. He will consult his idols. He will examine the liver. Into his right hand will come the lot for Jerusalem, where he is set up battering rams to give the command to slaughter, to sound the battle cry, to set battering rams against the gates, to build a ramp, to erect siege works. It will seem like a false omen to those who have sword allegiance to who. It will seem like a false omen to those who have sworn allegiance to him, but he will remind them of their guilt and take them captive. Therefore this is what the Sovereign Lord says, Because you people have brought to mind your guilt by your open rebellion, revealing your sins in all that you do, because you have done this, you will be taken captive. You profane and wicked prince of Israel, whose day has come, whose time of punishment has reached its climax. This is what the Sovereign Lord says. Take off the turban, remove the crown. It will not be as it was. 
the lowly will be exalted and the exalted will be brought low a ruin a ruin i will make it a ruin the crown will not be restored until he to whom it rightfully belongs shall come to him i will give it and you son of man prophesy and say this is what the sovereign lord says about the ammonites and their insults a sword a sword drawn for the slaughter polished to consume and to flash like lightning despite despite false visions concerning you and lying divinations about you it will be laid on the necks of the wicked who are to be slain whose day has come whose time of punishment has reached its climax let the sword return to its sheath in the place where you were created in the land of your ancestry I will judge you I will pour out my wrath on you and breathe out my fiery anger against you I will deliver you into the hands of brutal men men skilled in destruction you will be fuel for the fire your blood will be shed in your land you will be remembered no more for I the Lord have spoken Ezekiel chapter 22 the word of the Lord came to me son of man will you judge her will you judge this city of bloodshed then confront her with all her detestable practices and say this is what the sovereign Lord says you city that brings on herself doom by shedding blood in her midst and defiles herself by making idols you have become guilty because of the blood you have shed and have become defiled by the idols you have made you have brought your days to a close and the end of your years has come therefore I will make you an object of scorn to the nations and a laughing stock to all the countries those who are near and those who are far away will mock you you infamous city full of turmoil see how each of the princes of Israel who are in you uses his power to shed blood in you they have treated father and mother with contempt in you they have oppressed the foreigner and mistreated the fatherless and the widow you have despised my holy things and desecrated my Sabbaths. in you are slanderers who are bent on shedding blood in you are those who eat at the mountain shrines and commit lewd acts in you are those who dishonor their father's bed in you are those who violate women during their period when they are ceremonially ceremonially unclean if you one man commits a detestable offense with his neighbor's wife another shamefully defiles his daughter-in-law and another violates his sister his own father's daughter in you are people who accept bribes to shed blood you take interest and make a profit from the poor you extort unjust gain from your neighbors and you have forgotten me declares the sovereign Lord I will surely strike my hands together at the unjust gain you have made and at the blood you have shed in your midst will your courage endure in your lands or your lands be strong in the day I deal with you I the Lord have spoken and I will do it I will disperse you among the nations and scatter you through the countries and I will put an end to your uncleanness when you have been defiled in the eyes of the nations you will know that I am the Lord then the word of the Lord came to me son of man the people of Israel have become dross to me all of them are the copper tin iron and lead left inside a furnace they are but the dross of silver therefore this is what the sovereign Lord says because you have all become dross I will gather you in Jerusalem 
as silver, copper, iron, lead, and tin are gathered into a furnace to be melted with a fiery blast, so will I gather you in my anger and my wrath, and put you inside the city, and melt you. I will gather you, and I will blow on you with my fiery wrath, and you will be melted inside her. As silver is melted in a furnace, so will you be melted inside her, and you will know that I, the Lord, have poured out my wrath on you. Again the word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, say to the land, You are a land that has not been cleansed or rained on in the day of wrath. There is a conspiracy of her princes within her like a roaring lion tearing its prey. They devour people, take treasures and precious things, and make many widows within her. Her priests do violence to my law and profane my holy things. They do not distinguish between the holy and the common. They teach that there is no difference between the unclean and the clean and they shut their eyes to the keeping of my Sabbaths, so that I am profaned among them. Her officials are within her like wolves tearing their prey. They shed blood and kill people to make unjust gain. Her prophets whitewash these deeds for them by false visions and lying divinations. They say, this is what the Sovereign Lord says when the Lord has not spoken. The people of the land practice extortion and commit robbery. They oppress the poor and needy and mistreat the foreigner, denying them justice. I looked for someone among them who would build up the wall and stand before me in the gap on behalf of the land so I would not have to destroy it, but I found no one. So I will pour out my wrath on them and consume them with my fiery anger bringing down on their heads all that they have done, declares the Sovereign Lord. This is the end of the reading for September 5th, 2017. Uh, my name is Vince Byfield. Thank you very much for listening. I hope you have a wonderful day, and God bless you.